I'm out scouting for acorns. Boy, find a big acorn tree to drop and lock. That can be a great stand or blind location. But I'm not finding much here at the Proving Grounds this year, and I bet a lot of people aren't. You may recall there was a wicked cold front that come through mid-spring, early spring, about the time oaks will be making flowers. You remember all the power outages in Texas and all the massive damage down there? Well, goodness, that same front pushed on through Louisiana, up Missouri, on over east, and when it gets that cold that late, this was a freeze, not a frost. There was some snow in there and whatnot. Right when white oaks or red oaks are making flowers, it will damage those flowers and they won't end up producing an acorn. Oaks have flowers. They're not big and showy like a rose, but they make flowers. And if that flower gets all busted up, it won't pollinate. Same thing with the citrus industry down in South Florida. If they have a late frost or late freeze, it can wipe out the crop for the entire year. Now, some cool stuff is white oaks they make a flower that turns into an acorn that year. Flowers in spring, acorn that fall. Red oaks just go back a year. When they make a flower, it, it, it pollinated, just kind of sets there throughout that whole year and winter and next spring, then it starts developing into an acorn. So there may be some red oaks, but here at the Proving Grounds, we had a pretty late freeze last spring also. So this spring and last spring, I'm not finding many red oaks or white oaks. The ones I'm finding or on a ridge top, which is great for hunters because we know on ridge tops the wind's more constant, or down in a valley it tends to swirl a lot more. So if you find a good feed tree and you're in that zone where that big front come through, put your stand or blind out there, you're getting ready to see a bunch of deer if you can get the wind right. Those of us that got high quality food plots, it's probably gonna be a great year for hunting around food plots because that may be the best food in the neighborhood.